Dave can start. And for the sake of everything, Tooth, he's connecting. He's, I mean, in my chat, he's connecting. All right, so I'm going to use my water bottle as the gavel. The first meeting of the Red Star Line is coming to order. Vice President David Parker presiding. Super Dave Echo 419. Faux Hammer. <clears throat> okay. So, anybody who is not uh, speaking at the moment, go ahead and mute your mics. Um, if you have a question, you can flick it on or off. Let me know what's going on. Um, so that we don't have any unexpected... Alright, so... We'll, we'll cover that in housekeeping. Um, so we've already wasted a lot of time already. Um, so anybody who's not currently talking, go ahead and mute. Uh, except me and Sovereign so we can uh, monitor each other. All right. So long story short, what's going on? So first meeting. We have a lot of shit to cover. Uh, the... All right, so give me that, give me that link. Because... Copy that. Save link as. Okay. I swear to God, computer. Don't, right. don't fuck with me. I have wasted way too much of everybody's time already. Where's the Xbox app? All right, so I'll post the link later. So long story short, we have a Dropbox for the fleet. All important documents will be added to the Dropbox um, for everything that you need to know and stay up to date on the fleet about. Um, I'll post the link in the Xbox Live chat later um, once um, we're clear of the meeting because I, I, I don't want to take up way too much time looking for that because my computer's being stupid and shit. Um, all right, so the Red Star Line. Long story short, what are we about? We are a passenger and cargo transporting company with a, with a couple of people who are going to be in charge of escorting us and protecting the fleet from all the bullshit in the game. That's the, that's the major factor. We may or may not have uh, some explorers out into the galaxy to explore and stay up to date on all the latest scientific findings of everything that, that that's going on in, a, in Elite Dangerous. Our current... Your our mic's current, breaking a little bit, Dave. Well, that's because somebody else is breaking up a little bit. All right. Um, anyways... That's, that's, it's Walters, it's not me. Um, our home base is LHS 2931, if everything that's, that Sovereign will be covering later goes well. Um, it is Lee Station in LHS 2931, in the middle of Edmund Mahone's territory um, for the Alliance. The fleet is allied with the Alliance. Walter, so you need to put your mic on mute. Yeah, that'll work too. Um, so anybody who isn't who anybody who is serious about the fleet, oh, I thank you very much. Um, anybody who's not currently allied with Edmund Mahone, go ahead and ally if you are serious about the fleet. Um, and uh, that takes care of that. All right. So now that that's done. Uh, I should have been in outfitting by now. Okay. So <clears throat> that covers that. That that. All of the rules um, for the fleet um, are in the Dropbox folder. Uh, Red Star Line Code of Honor. It is a uh, rich text document. You need Microsoft Word, Notepad, uh, something like that, LibreOffice to open it. Um, anybody who doesn't want to pay for Microsoft Office to be able to open all these documents, aka the Excel spreadsheet and all that other shit, needs to get LibreOffice. Uh, I will post the link in chat later. Um, it is a free Microsoft Office clone that is dirt cheap. It's basically, it is free, basically. Um, the word processor, the Excel spreadsheet, PowerPoint, and all that other shit. Um, that's what I'm using. That's why, that's why the document looks like shit is because it's not Microsoft Office. It's something else. Um, so all the rules are going to be there. Um, if you have a rule or a, uh, uh, um, uh, an amendment to the rules the Bill of Rights, all that kind of shit, the Constitution. Um, let me and Sovereign know so we can edit the document, add the rules to it if they are good enough. Um, so that's all there. Uh, I've also added a lot of information on Edmund Mahone, um, 
all of the lure for the game will be added to this document because this document is basically going to be the Constitution. Um, it's going to have a lot of shit in it. Um, I don't know too much about the backstory of the fleet. We can cover that at a later time. Um, we haven't had time to actually talk about the history of the fleet, so we'll cover that later. Uh, pay attention to Twitch chat. Uh, 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 what? Yeah, okay. Um, oh, he's typing in Twitch. Uh, I'm watching the stream. <laughs> Shut up, Walter. <laughs> Uh, uh, yes, I wasted uh, time. I want my money back. <laughs> um, uh, that was straight from that was uh, straight from Alucard. Uh, I'm, I'm reading Twitch chat. Um, uh, yes, you have been uh, wasting my time. I want my money back. A company with a full backstory beyond the epic proportions. Yes, that is correct. All right. Um, I, I'm sorry I wasn't reading the chat. I was pulling up the document in Microsoft Word or in LibreOffice. Um, so, if you are in the fleet, and if you have the money to spend on customizing your ship, um, we go into outfitting. Alright, so, the fleet registry is a Excel spreadsheet document. It's also in the Dropbox. Um, let me or somebody in management know what your ship name is, what ship it is, so that we can add it to the registry and give you your ship ID number. Um, the ship I the ship name um, basically is um, if it's a transport or passenger vessel the first three letters are RSS for Red Star ship space whatever your ship name is if it is a if it is a legitimate passenger or transport liner we humbly request that you name your ship that is a passenger or transport that is dedicated for the fleet purpose um, a ship that is either was a part of the Red Star Line in actual history, the um, the Canard Line, which bought the Red St the White Star Line after it went bankrupt, or the Carnival Cruise Line, which eventually bought the Canard Line. So, basically, any ship from from Carnival, Canard, or White Star is a eligible ship name for a passenger or a transport vessel. Um, so that's that. Um, combat vessels can be named whatever. Does that mean I'll have to rename the Nebuchadnezzar since that is a great vessel? Uh, yes. Um, yes, I, I apologize. You can name your combat vessel the Nebuchadnezzar, um, but we will cover that. All right, I'll take care of that. Thank you, sir. All right, so um, a combat vessel or any other rolled ship can be named whatever. It uh, doesn't matter. However, um, if it is f used for the fleet, all we ask is that the first three letters in the name are RSE for Red Star Escort. That designates that the ship is being used to escort uh, the fleet of the Red Star Line uh, at all times and is ready on a moment's notice. So, um, again, you can give us the name. Uh, we will add it to the registry and give you your ship ID number. Um, the ship ID number will be RSL, Red Star Line Vessel, that's our game, that's our clan tag, and then there's three numbers. So we'll give you the three numbers when we update the registry with your information. We will, we will spit out your ID number um, so that uh, for future reference, in case we get really, really big as a fleet, kind of like the, you know, I'm going to pick on the, the, the fuel rats. They have like, what, 25,000, 2,500 members me included, um, and they have, what, 4,000 ships. Now, I don't expect to get that big, but we need at least a three-digit numbered system uh, in order to make sure we can safely accommodate more than 20 of us playing the game. Uh, and then RSL, obviously, is, the, is the, the first three letters of our club name, which just makes sense. So that's why that works that way. Um, that's that. Okay. Decal position and make note that all of the requirements that I'm dishing out right now for the ships only apply to ships that you are donating from your personal uh, acquisition for fleet purposes. So if a ship that you have it does not is not used for the Red Star Line, you don't have to follow these principles. However, the other is true. If it is 
uh, vice versa. Okay. Liveries. Uh, Elite Dangerous. All right, Anaconda. So this is my uh, RSS Nomadic. It's on stream. Um, as you can see, I've, the paint job for the Red Star line is Vibrant Red. The reason why is Red Star line, obviously, duh, red color. But most importantly, B, Vibrant. The Vibrant Red paint scheme is available on almost every single ship in the game. So regardless whether you want to spend the money or not, that option is there should you choose to spend the money. Uh, we are not going to, I'm not, I don't think we're going to make it a absolute requirement, but it would be nice to be in uniform. Um, as you can see, I've already got my ship ID, RSL002. That's my designation within the fleet uh, for the Nomadic. Uh, the nameplate, again, if you have money for your fleet ships, the nameplate, the official one is passenger liner number three. It's got a, a star that's streaming across the stream with a bunch of little stars. Red star line, trust me, it makes sense. Uh, of course, the ship ID uh, on the side of the ship. The emblem, again, the decal on the... Uh, white. Um, you, you can have any color you want. Uh, I just have the white because it shows up better on my ship with my paint job. Uh, bas basically, it's just the star streaming across the, stream, uh, the screen. Uh, white does look better, but uh, that, that's your call. Um, the... All right, so the front decal is for the Red Star line. It is currently up for negotiation. It is currently the passenger E. It's got the it's the it's the one that looks like airplane wings, you know, the little wings that the, the captain of an air, a civilian airplane wears on their lapel or whatever. That's what what's going on there. Um, the right hand decal is technically up to you. Um, right now, I, we're using it for. Whatever your ship's used for, point number one and point number two. Uh, so right now, I'm in my um, transport anaconda, so it's used for trade, which means my right decal I'm going to use is my trade tycoon emblem. So that you know, that makes sense. Uh, military ships, it would be obviously your combat rank. Uh, Left-hand decal is Edmund Mahone's uh, decal, because uh, we're with Edmund Mahone, kind of, you know, trust me, makes sense. Um, spoilers, do whatever you want. Uh, all the rest of the uh, liveries, you can do whatever you want. Bobbleheads, all that shit. You don't have to have any of that. That's all pure aesthetics. Um, that covers all that shit. Now, with the the ship ID decal, the ship name plate, the fleet decal, and the color, you're looking at, I believe it's 1,200 Frontier points, a.k.a. $20. Um just to set your shit up um, again if you have the money great if not we're not gonna like beat you over your head with a dead horse um, apparently Sorry, no, we are planning on doing on a giveaway for the $20 for someone to be able to up upfit their ship with the deliveries okay so that's in the works it's in the pipeline we'll come out with details later um, that's all that okay Um, yeah, yes, uh, Sovereign, do you want to give him a, uh, website link to the, uh... Yeah, I'll just do it in the WhatsApp, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I just need to go to the Star Line? Yes, sir, that would be your, that would be the fastest option. Yes, that is correct. Um, thank you, sir. Um, very good. Um... The hierarchy. All right, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna keep most of the hierarchy, but we're gonna change some names around. Um, all right, so the hierarchy. So we are a company, which means we're technically not a military-based out, out outfit. We're mostly trade and passengers. So that means we're technically not fleet admirals. Um, and I'll, I'll go over that in just a second. So because we're a company. You know, president, board of, you know, board of directors, all that shit. Um, the president of the Red Star Line is obviously Alucard. Um, and I've got actually some notes that are already uploaded to the Code of Honor 
document in the Dropbox 